natuna na to last Sunday that God's timing is perfect. And um, ang paghulat, no, lisod, ang paghulat challenging. In life, kanunay ta na ay gihulat. Na atay gihulat. Dili ta muhunong og hulat. No, when we pray, so many times ang tubag ni Lord, wait. No, kung dili no, kung dili yes ay ang tubag, ang next niya nga answer is wait ana. And so we are definitely most of the time is waiting. And because of that, kinahanglan na to masabtan sa atong natunan last Sunday that the word of God says in Hebrews 10:23, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. No nga, ang Diyos din nga nagsaad, faithful siya. While we are waiting, we hold on to that hope. Dili ta magduha-duha. Natunan sa nato last Sunday, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, that the Lord is not slow in keeping His promise. So when you feel like there's delays, naapay gusto si Lord na malearn nato, because God is not slow in keeping His promise. As some understand slowness, instead He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So kung naatay gipangayo sa Dios, naatay giampu sa ginoo niya, wala pa na hitabu karon. Definitely na ay gusto si Lord na area sa tong life that we need to repent, we need to do it right, maybe the right motive. Okay? And then, because God, by definition of the word, is not slow. Kinsa sa inyo naka-feel being, Lord, dugaya kay ni mo gitubag akong pag-ampo, Lord. Ay, dugay na kay ko nagulat. Murag wala lagi na hitabo. It's not about God is being slow. God definitely would want to prepare you, make you, and and somehow na ay kinanglan i-repent sa atong mga kinabuhi. While waiting, we understand last Sunday that Galatians 6.9 says, Do not become weary in doing good. Lisod ba ya? Kanang naghulat ka, then while naghulat ka, padayon ka magbuhat o maayo. Do not Become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Dako ni siya nga challenge. Kana bitang naghulat ka og something, nya wala kay nakita karon sa imong gihulat, pero you continue to do good. Ang mga anak sa Dios kaya na buhaton because we understand na wala ay maayo nga gibuhat nato nga masayang. Nothing will be wasted. Tanan sa sakto nga panahon anihon nato. Amen. And we also learned last Sunday that in Ecclesiastes 9:11 it says, "I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, not the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill." But time and chance happen to them all. That means, ang ang ingon ang pulong sa Dios, no nga ang race, ang lumba, dili lang para sa mga paspas. Amazing. Nakafeel ba ka karon nga morag ulahi na kay ka? Sila mo na ninihitabo sa ilang live, sila na ingani na, and then ikaw, Lord, morag ulahi naman kay ko. Remember. No, ang race, dili lang para sa mga paspas. Ang battle, ang pagdaog sa battle, dili lang para sa mga strong. O ang um, pagkaon, abundansya sa pagkaon, dili lang para sa mga daghan o uh, daghan o understanding or maayo mo diskarte for the wise. Dili lang di ay para sa ilaan na. Because time and chance happen to them all. Kinsa man ang kaya mo hatag sa time o sa chance? Dios ne. Time could be uh, turned into season and chance could be turned into opportunities. Pwede nga imong friend ka ron, grabe na, nag-una na siya, mauna na iyang income, ing ani na iyang kadako iyang income, imong amigo, pero because nakaila ka sa Dios, time and chance can happen to you. Na one day, na ay opportunity i-open si Lord, And gauna man siya ni mo, pero maabot sa point na pariho na mo or maabsan pa ni mo siya. Remember, you're not in competition with anybody. 
you are in ang imong pinaka kanang imo ang pinaka dadun gyud is imo ra yung kaugalingon kanang kung gusto man kamo asenso kung naa man kay gusto abtan not because naibog ka sa uban na suya ka sa uban but because you wanted God to be glorified sa unsa may accomplishment nimo can i hear an amen so time and chance no dios gyud maghatag ana maamis na lang ka nga hala no mo na man din ni tabo sa kon life karon because dili na siya lumba dili na siya paunhanay dili na siya kay nakakompetensya ka sa uban it's not like that but rather dios gyud na siya perfect timing para nimo god's perfect timing and today we will learn on the benefits of waiting on god the benefits of waiting on god what are the dreams that god has placed in your heart if you could like maybe one big dream or two dreams unsa man na if you can answer it right now in your mind unsa man na ang ang damgo ba nga naa sa imong heart lord one day i will have this how about how much income is in your heart lord one day lord um mao gyud niya kung gusto nga income or lord one day mao gyud niya kung gusto nga job or business or one day lord mao gyud niya kung gusto nga family unsa nga dream nga naa sa imong heart today na murag layo pa kay siya sa tinuod very impossible church when your dream is very big that means that dream comes from god when your dream is achievable kaya by wit by being smart by working hard ma-achieve na nimo that means it's your dream kay kaya man nimo on your own But when your dream, when your dream is so big, it means that that dream comes from God. I remember one of our members here in church said, "One day I dreamed of building a foundation for children." Wow, that's a huge money to build a foundation for children. And one also said, "One day I wanted to build a foundation for the homeless." or for the for the old people and it's amazing kung kung ma-achieve na sa isa ka person why because that is so big that dream, dream is so big and dios ang naghatag ana nga dream what's your dream today if your dream is just to build a house and have a car that's your dream it's so small you can achieve that by being smart hard worker and by being Of course, uh, com committed to the Lord, you can achieve that. I would encourage you right now to ask the Lord, Lord, give me a dream that is so big that comes from you. I encourage you to ask God for Lord, unsa man jud akong akong abdan, mitrasbuhi pa ko. The very reason why we succumb to depression and we succumb to like hopelessness because our dreams are too small. So kung naatay problema, dali ta maluya. Dali ta mo give up, dali ta kapuyan. Because of course, our dreams are very small. There's no reason to live for. There's no reason to fight and work for. There's no reason to really like know God and seek God and partner with God because of course your dream is achievable. On your own or just maybe knowing God of course kay anak man ka sa Dios. But I encourage you right now to just dream more and dream big. Because God is a dream maker. He is. So it's important really that as we wait upon the Lord, kailangan na kay dream daan. Kay murag unsa may hulato nimo kung wala kay dagko nga damgo. Amen. Kanang unsa may rason nimo nga mubakod, makigera, tun-an ang Bible mga lagad sa Ginoo kung imong damgo gamay you know when your dream is just to finish college that's too small anyone could finish college right anyone even wala ay Ginoo sa ilang kinabuhi they could finish college atheist can finish college agnostic can finish college or even if you wanted to have a certain business even those people who don't know god are owners of businesses today so What's 
the certain dream, a God-given dream that you are asking God for. If wala pa kaana igsoon, I would encourage you right now to seek the Lord. Lord, unsay mga abilidad nga naa na ako? Lord, kinsa man yun ay ko? Unsay kaya na ako buhaton? Lord, give me a big dream. Because your big dream that comes from God, mo na'y rason igsoon na mumata ka tagabuntag sa panahon na grabe ang imong pagsulay. Most people who committed suicide or most people who succumb to depression and being miserable are people really wa sila kabalunga nung naa sila sa kalibutan. Wala sila'y purpose. Most people who just live life na dili mga lagad sa ginuog tinudanay because achievable man ang damgo. Having a house, having a car, having a career. That's so achievable. Even if di ka mga lagad sa ginoo. But why are we serving God today? Why are we giving our lives to God? Because God has given us big dreams that without a serious partnership with God, these dreams, of course, dili siya mahitabo. Maunang muhulat taig soon tungod kay naatay dagko nga damgo. Muhulat ta because naakay rason nga muhulat. O sa'y magisgot ang benefits sa paghulat sa Diyos. Sa paghulat. Benefits on waiting. Of waiting. Kung wala kay gihulat, sometimes, murag wala kay rason nga nung muhulat ka. That's why we need to really have a, a certain reason. Lord, nga nung muhulat man ko. Nga nung ang mga parents, they would really fight so hard with life. Itong na mga anak. Because, sure, yung ko, pariha tag heart. Gusto ta muhulat na makitaan atong mga anak na very successful. Very successful. Kana bitang malabuan ta nila. No, with our colleagues, usahay murag mainsulto ta gamay malabuan ta. Murag ay makafeel tag self pity ko malabuan ta nila income, malabuan sa sa any any aspect of life. Usahay may pa siya. Di na malikayan. No nga murag halano. May pa siya. Murotag ma-pressure gamay. But if imo ng anak mulabaw sa imo, ah, wow. Proud kay ka nga papa. Proud kay ka nga mama. Amen? Kanang nak, labwi ko gayo. Akong income karon half million a month. Labwi ko nak. Kanag yung mo, mo more pag yun imo, ah. Amen? So, mo nang ang mga mama mas kindaghag problema, ang mga papa mas kindaghag problema, na ay rason mo hulat. Nga man. Because sa ilang, sa atong mga anak. Amen? Benefits of waiting on God. Waiting on the Lord build endurance. Waiting on the Lord build endurance. Colossians 1 verse 11. Colossians 1 11. May you be strengthened with all power according to His glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Endurance. Kinsa sa inyo ang nakasulay nga ka nang mag-run. Okay? Muran ko, kuan, uh, let us say, 10 kilometers. Ako no, damungura gina ko na perminte. Nang makaran man lang ko, maskig 2 kilometers per day. Dream na yun na. Wapag yun na tinuod. No? Kay usahay, um, maghuna-huna pa lang tanga muran, kapoy naman. <laughs> no? Rag ako na lang ipahulay. But I realize good na ang mga tao nga tigwalk o tigran, grabe o endurance. Para masaka pa lang ko sa stairs, hangak naman. Pero kung anad kag si gigwalk, anad kag si gigran, mabuild ang imong endurance. It's the same with waiting. All the more daghan ka gihulat, all the more daghan ka gihulat, mabuild ang imong endurance. Mulahutay yung ka. No, because muhulat ko. Maybe ang imong gihulat karon is breakthrough sa imong finances. Lord, nga akong business mas stable nya, di lang stable but mo mo branch pa gyud. No? And then mo dako. So you're waiting on that. While na ay pandemic, grabe gyud ang atong challenge karon sa waiting. Ano sa pag gyud mahuman ang pandemic? But I would challenge each one of you. If you have a business today, if you have a career today, Ayag hulat nga mahuman ang pandemic ay ha kamorize. No. 
Igsuon ako mong i-challenge nga i-grab ni nga opportunity sa pandemic to learn, to study, and to rise up in business. Because God is a God who never changed. Mas kinaay pandemic. Kinahanglan nang siya igsuon o gligon nga partnership with the Lord para makakuha kag kusog from the Lord to do it. The pandemic is hurting a lot of businesses. The pandemic is hurting a lot of people. Unsa may buhato na to? Ayha bata? Mulihok, ay ha ba ta mag-invest? Ay ha ba ta muskwela? Kung wala na'y pandemic, kaya di ka ganahag online class? Take this opportunity to finish a degree in UP, in Ateneo, nga naaka sa imong balay, in Iligan. Because if ay ha ka mo take og steps into finishing something, pag mahuman na ang pandemic, what if dili ni mahuman? What if magka worse ang kalibutan as Revelation says? So kita ba mo go down? Of course not. Remember, the Bible speaks of children of God who really rise up in the middle of pandemic. Lain-lain lang ilang pandemic before. Like Isaac planted in the time of famine and reaped a hundredfold harvest. Walay ulan, walay pagkao. Nagtanom si Isaac on the same year. Ni harvest siya og hundredfold na harvest. Why is that so? Because he is a child of God. And naa siya wisdom na kuha gikan sa yang papa nga si Abraham. And giandam sa yang papa daan ang wells. Ang mga well na gitabunan sa mga kaaway. Gitultol ni Isaac. Asa to nga well. Ang iyang gidig. Uban sa yang mga tao. And na ay water dito. Giandam na ni Lord daan ng water. Kung imong feeling karon no, ay hara ko mo. Ay hara ko mo. Buhat, anay, pagwa ng pandemic, igsuon, maulahi, o maulahi yung ka. When COVID um, came, 2020, isa ko yun sa niingon ni Lord, Lord, nahadlok yung ko, unsaon ako ni. Anybody, definitely, makabati ka una o kahadlok. Unsaon pag-survive sa church? Unsaon pag-survive sa business? Unsaon pag-survive sa trabaho sa kong husband? Unsaon sa kong children na wala na school? Unsaon nila ang online? And so many others, right? Kita tanda ni Agi tag Lord? Mura kag, mura kag Lord, unsaon ako ni. And then we look into the Word. Look into the Word. And God would guide you. Now trust me in this. Do this, do that. So see, it's important really to understand that the way things are right timing ni Lord will build endurance. Mas muligun ka, mas mugahi ka. Dili ka mahadlok o bad news. Ingon in the book of Psalms, ang mga anak sa Diyos, dili mahadlok o bad news. Kung ikaw karon mura na kag na-paralyze, na mura kung naka madungkan sa Facebook, mura kag mangurog, igsoon on dangi na. Dili ni dili undangan ang mag-Facebook or mga tanaw og news but undangin ang mura kag maparalay sa kahadlok that's not who you are You are supposed to be not afraid of bad news because your God is greater your God is bigger your God is the God who knows nga naatay COVID Amen Dili bitaw nang Lord gipasdan mi nimo Lord wala na mi kaunon Lord Naglisod me. Find, literally, ask the Lord. Seek the Lord. Pray. Seek the Lord. And God would just give you opportunities. God would open doors for you. Pero kung muingon ka nga, di na kumuhulat, uy, kapoy, bahala na. Mag-float ka ba? Remember, there's a difference between someone who waits patiently and someone who floats. Galutaw, lutaw lang ba? Kesera, kesera. Whatever will be, will be. Wala kay direction. Wala kay gibarugan ng word of God. Wala kay giingon ng Lord, this will happen to me. This will happen to my business. This will happen to my children. And I will hold on to it. That's a person who waits. But many of us, muabot sa season na murag galutaw, lutaw lang ta. Bisan unsa na lang Lord. Whatever will be, will be. Kesera-sera. We 
we have to really endure. Endure in prayer. Lord, mo deklara gyud ko, mao gyud ni, mas successful gyud ako mga anak. And I will wait to see that. Lord, among business, mao gyud ni mahitabo. Lord, dili gyud mi maing ani. That means you are enduring. Dili na, ah, bahala na. Ah, kapoy. Huwag ang tanan, yung muingon, I will wait upon the Lord, will say, Amen. Ako mamatay, mamatay. Of course, let us not say that. Sometimes, sa puya na ta magkigera sa COVID, no? Namuhaan na ta, ako mamatay, di mamatay, good. Kana kung wa kay rason nga nung mabuhi. Pero kung napakay rason igsoon para mabuhi, do everything to really wait upon the Lord. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 7. Waiting on the Lord prepares you for the promise. Waiting on the Lord is what? Will prepare you for the promise. Daghan kigsaad si Lord. And uh, in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 7. So that you are not lacking in any gift, awaiting eagerly the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of times we quit before palang ang answer ni Lord. Mo undang na tawa, mo undang na tagampo, mo undang na tagtuo, mura na kag ni give up. So kung ni give up ka, meaning wala kami hulat, ni give up mang ka. Ah, bahala na oye. For example. If you're still single today, and years ago you've been waiting for the right man, you've been praying for it, you've been planting seed for it, you've been asking God for it, right man or woman, and then today after a year or two or three, wa ang gapo na abot ni ingo na kalor di na ko eh, okay ra yung di ko maminio. Now when you say that, you are giving up, and when you're giving up, when you don't get married, of course it's your choice. Because you stop waiting. For example, you have a sickness today. And nakay balatian, and you're asking the Lord for healing, and you're waiting for it. Mitras mo hulat pa ka igsoon, mo build na siyang endurance sa imo. Pero kung mo ingin kagkapoy naman ko, Lord, okay ra, Lord, kuaan na ko, Lord. Dili na ko magpatambal. Kung dili na ka magpatambal, dili na ka mutuo sa mga expertise sa atong doctors, Definitely, you will die. To see, ang paghulat mo siya mo build o endurance ni mo. Sometimes dili tamo hulat because wak natay nakita ng rason ng ano mo hulat ta. We have to go back to our why. Ng ano mo hulat ko? Unsa ingat? Ng ano dapat mo hulat ko? No, so na akay dapat ligon ng rason anak. When we wait on the Lord, our priorities are shifted. And we begin to desire the things the way the Lord has laid us. Kung mo decide ka o wait, imong heart ba masif siya into Lord? Okay, what's next? Because you're waiting. Okay, Lord, what's next? Unsay next na ko buhaton? Yahi ko Lord, tudluy ko Lord. Pagbasa ni mo sa Bible, ah, ing ani di ay dili di ko dapat magworry. So ni decide ka. Lord, while naghulat ko, di ko mag-worry. Lord, masalig ko ni mo. Basa na sa'yo sa Bible. Nabasahan ni mo sa Bible, dapat mauni mong buhaton. Buhaton na sa'yo ni mo. Si journey siya with the Lord. Second, waiting on God protects us from danger. Waiting on God protects us from danger. When we wait, we'll listen sa voice sa ginoo. We listen. When I say we listen to voice sa ginoo, it's not like si Lord musturya ni mo in an audible voice, no, like floor. No, it's not like that. We cannot hear God in an audible voice today. When we say we hear and we 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 wait upon the Lord and we hear God's voice, I mean when you read the Bible and you feel like God is speaking to you as you read it. Why is it that so many times we miss out ang timing sa ginoo? Because we're not reading His Word. Unsaon man nato pag-receive o instruction ni Lord kung wala ka nagbasa sa Bible? O ang tanan nga devotional every day, 
everyday nagbasag Bible. Amen? Igsoon, kabalo ko challenging, no? Kay Murag mas ganahan, manta mag-Facebook, mag-social media, kaysa magbasag Bible. But I would encourage you to read the Bible. If, if not, if you are not good into reading, hear the word. You know, Bible.com has an audio Bible. Kabaloko, there's so much in our, in our, we're wearing a lot of hats. Daghan kita ginabuhat. And it's amazing how you can enjoy the word. You can, you can hear, you can do audio Bible. For example, while you are, naakay gibuhat lai, namilo baka ka. Like namilo ka. Nagmas, naminaw kag audio Bible. Instead nga nag social media ka. Well, nang hugas kag plato, gi-oni mo yung cellphone, naka-audio Bible ka, naka-headset ka, and you are focused sa Word of God. Ma-amaze ka because maskin audio na siya, what I do with audio Bible is dili siya kasara na ako paminawon. Reading is amazing. Reading, mga God, is very beautiful. When you read, lahi yun siya, musulud siya deep within because you're reading it. Especially when you read it with naakay... Imo pong i-read dili lang sa imong mind, i-read gyud nimo sa imong voice, sa imong mouth. So double imong learning, you read it, you're hearing it, double ang learning. Ang kalainan lang sa audio Bible, sometimes pag naa kay gibuhat lain, ma-miss out nimo ang point. So what I do with audio Bible is I listen it twice or thrice. Like Jeremiah chapter 17, if audio Bible akong gi-on, I would listen it two times or three times. And then on the third time, I would like receive something. Tama, Lord, para ni sa ako. No, I will not stop. Nga mura ako gabasa drag history. Na mura bitaw, walay para sa imua. No, so kung ang chapter 17, mura walay para sa imua, move to 18. And then move to 19. Ayog sugot na in a day, wala kay gihold on the word of God. As a Christian, in the time of pandemic, we, we must not do that. Na puro social media ang mas daghan. Mas news about COVID ang daghan compared to you listening to the word. Can I hear an amen? Because waiting on God protects us from danger. When we wait upon the Lord, nga, Lord, kani akong gusto mahitabo. Na ako'y, na ako'y gusto mahitabo. For example, immediate na gusto ni mo mahitabo. You have to talk to someone. You have to confront someone. You really have to wait upon the Lord. Lord, um, tagae ko giya kung right time na bastor yao na ko siya about this, about that. And, and God would just direct you with simple instructions like no, like yes, like wait. Now, waiting is very challenging. Waiting again on God protects us from danger. Now, kapoy ka ayo ang maghulat, but it's always worth it. Apil ba si Lord sa imong mga plano? Because if you learn to wait upon the Lord, you will not be spending money on for ma-waste siya. For many of you nga na mga testimony nga naghulat kag right timing ni Lord ba, you will not be wasting thousands of money of pesos. Pero pag magdali-dali gani ka, high investment, nindot daw ni, kuan daw ni. Nya wa man lang kakaampo, wala ka kabasag Bible, wala ka ka ask o counsel. Unsa ingon gi sa sa Bible before ka mo himog decision? Mangutana ka 3 to 5 people. So anything nga himo unay mo nga decision, mangutana sa kag advice. Mo na giingon sa Bible. But so many of us, we jumped into investing for example without asking 3 or 5 people. Kung maayo ba ni invest in? Kung right time ba mag-invest in? Or even worse, you're not even waiting on the Lord. So what will happen? Mas calm. Ma-deceived. Nindot rin ang presentation. Pero di ay, kasara ka makakuha sa imong return. Wa na dayon. Waiting on the Lord, on God, protects us from danger. Importante yun igsoon ang dili magdali. Ing na imong tapad, ayaw pagdali. Ayaw pagdali. For those who are with us online, ing na imong tapad karon ayaw pagdali. Labaw sa tanan sa major decisions in life, kinsa imong minuan, it's really important nga dili magdali. Take your time. 
Because again, marriage is not a word. It's a sentence. It's a life sentence. When you get married, for better or for worse, for sickness and health, for poorer or for richer. But unsa to makita karon sa mga marriages? Nganong mabungkag man? Because katong panahon na wa pa ta kaila ginoo. Katong panahon na wala pa tay relasyon sa Dios. Amen. Mao nang murag grabe kalisod <laughs> kay tagadali gyud ko ato. But for people right now who are uh, who have a relationship with God, igsuod ayo pagdali. Take your time. Wait on the Lord because waiting on God protects us from danger. Remember God's timing is perfect. You will know and you will know nga right timing na gyud siya. Kapalo makabalog yug ka. Murag ang ang murag ang universe kay mo align. Okay? Murag okay, mi agree ako ng parents. Okay, naa na ko income. No, so mahibal-an ni mo na okay, this is the right time. No? And uh number three, waiting on God to answer our prayers allows us to know more about the character of God. Waiting on God to answer our prayers allows us to know more about the character of God. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18. Isaiah 30 verse 18. Therefore the Lord longs to be gracious to you and therefore he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for him. It's amazing how the Bible says God waits for us. That God is waiting for us to be ready before giving us his gift. It's important really that you are ready. No ka nabitang sa mga giampo ni mo, Lord, mao ni akong gipray. Ang, ang, ang next, Ana, after you pray, is pahulatun ju ka sa ginoo. Tungod kay iya akang i-prepare para ma-ready ka for that gift. It's important really nga kanang number one, no, sa season day nga naghulat ka, mas mailhan ni mo kinsa ang Diyos. The character of God. That Lord, gracious man day kay ka sa koa. That Lord, compassionate man day kay ka sa koa. Lord, you're the God of justice. Mas mailhan ni mo si Lord ba? Because nihulat ka. Nuwa ka nagdali-dali. And, and you, you understand nga naay timing si Lord. Mas mailhan ni mo ang character sa ginoo. The process of waiting definitely would make us understand mauday ni ang character sa kung Papa God in heaven. Ing ani day siya nga Diyos. In Psalms uh, 84 verse 11, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. No good thing. I'm saying on the Bible, does he withhold for you. If nagampo ka karon and it seemed nga wala ka answer ni Lord, may, it is definitely because na ay giandam si Lord na best para sa imo. And kanang imong giampo, good lang siya. Dili man kita magampo o dili good for us, no? Tanan na to nga pray it's good. But a lot of times, i-prepare ka ni Lord for the best. And that's why we have to wait. Pag na ay season nga murag, wala kay nakita sa imong mga giampo, siguro igsuon, pag Ang, ang, ang season nga, Lord, nag-ampo, ito ko nga mahitabo ni. Pag ang imong giampo, it's in the Word. Unsa ang mga naa sa Word of God? Unsa ang mga saad ni Lord? Pag ka na ang imong giampo, ang tubag yun anak ni Lord, kanunay is a yes. Or a wait. For example, the Bible is, is saying, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, for example, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. 
Now, if right now you feel like you're, you felt like you're harmed, kanang nasakitan ka, kanang um, na, na nagfail ka, some, somehow morag nakita ni mo na morag na harm you ka. Nya ingon man ang Bible na my plans for you is not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. So meaning, tungod kay na harm ta, tungod kay nasakitan ta, tungod kay nagka problema ta. Definitely kana siya, dili na siya kabubuton sa Diyos. It could be a result of our decisions. It could be a consequences of something that we say or we do. But it's not the will of God. For example, if you're suffering right now with a certain relationship that's cold, nganong ing ani man yung treatment sa ako? Nga, ma-hurt na ka ba? Nganong ing ani man yung treatment sa ako? Uy, lain kayo. So na-hurt na ka. It's not the will of God. And you're asking the Lord, Lord, I am asking you na ma-okay ni siyang relationship. Kaninga friend na ako, or kaninga husband na ako, or whoever that person is, nga murag dili okay inyong relationship. It's the will of God nga ma-okay mo. Pero taas ang waiting period, Ana. Nga naman. Because ang words nga imong nabuhian, for let us say, nabuhian mo ang word for one minute. Ikaw manggod kay mauni, mauna. One minute, nakastorya ka. That could stay in the person for like one year or ten years. So see, inga na ka-powerful ang words. And that's why, or naakay nabuhat, nakay action nga, nga nabuhat na nakadismaya sa other person. Maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe a friend. Gusto on man ni mo nga ma-okay derits ang relationship, it's not how it works. There's a waiting time para ma-okay to siya. In fact, in the book of Proverbs, the Bible says an offended friend is uh, mas lisod siya kaysa, kaysa usaka syudad nga imuang, imuang i-conquer. Mas lisod ang offended na friend. So see, and that's just it. As much as you wanted the relationship to be okay karon, there's a waiting period para ma-okay na siya. Kung pananaw na mo worth it na i-fight na siya nga relationship, you wait. And keep on praying to God. If na kay nabuhat or nastorya nga something bad or wrong, do amends. Most of us, while waiting, we do nothing. While waiting, we don't plant good seed to the person. And so relationship definitely would get worse. Because while waiting, we need to understand the character of God. All the more. Lord, gugma man yu day ka ginoo. Abangi ko nga nasayop naman yu gun. Kung ikaw ang nasayop, unsay first buhaton, ikaw ang mga yung pasaylo. Forgive me, nastorya ko to. Pasaylo ako, nabuhat ko ni. Muhunong ba sa pagpangayog pasaylo? Of course not. If you wanted the relationship to be restored, do something, plant seed. Love the person more. Do moves nga pwede niya mong mapakita sa iya ah, that you are reaching out. Kung ikaw ang nasayop. Kung ikaw ang wala nasayop, but I think in any and every relationship nga dili ma-okay, both has a mistake. It's not that one party mauray na sayop. It's always both. If you say something, that person has a mouth. That mouth will open and would say something too that would hurt you both. Or if na kay action nga buhaton, action equals reaction. It's always like that. That's why panan nga relationship imong i-assess. Worth it ba nga relationship if fight for? If not, then so be it. Balag di na mo mag-friends. Friendship over. Kung sa tanaw ni mo, panahon na good, opportunity na niya mo gawas ko sa friendship. But you know, of course, there are relationships that's toxic, kailangan ni end. Pagkabalo ka, ginalibak ka, ginadaot ka, ginako, hey, ayaw pagka pa martyr. Okay rin yung isara yung friend. Ako, I'm okay with that. Okay rin yun ako, basta loyal, true, real. Okay rin yung few. We don't have many. We don't have to have many. But if nakita ni mo, worth it na siya nga relationship i-fight for, wait. 
wait and learn on the character of God. Lord, unsa may akong malapat buhaton ani? And God would say, forgive that person or forgive yourself because you said this or you do you've done that. That's the character of God. Or you love the person more. Or give. Ingon ang Bible, no? Uh, kung naa daw kay enemy, imo daw ang pakanon ni mong enemy. Imo daw siyang pabayloon. Dili ni mo tilngon. Imong enemy. Amazing, no? Ingon ang Bible, kung imong enemy, mangulos sa imong gisuot, ihatag imong, imong coat. Apil pa imong sinina. Ihatag tanan. Sa imong enemy. Well, It's amazing how one believer could come to that certain state that you can do that to an enemy. Most of us will do that when we know that that person is worth giving. But when we understand that this person is my enemy, ay bahala na gyukadeha, no? We don't definitely go higher. Unsa day price when we go higher sa level of maturity? When kabaluka that this person and that person did something to you and you still love that person, mao na siya ang gugma nga na ay reward. Sa mga ba nagasawa who is with us online, who who stick together in spite of and despite of, you will be rewarded. Tell yourself today, Lord, I'm excited for my reward. Amen. Why? Why? Because. Sayo na higugma o no? Basta lovable ang person. Pero what if ka na nga person di sudya higugma o? Ingon ang Bible, while naghulat ka sa tubag sa mga pag-ampo, you will know more of God. The character of God. Sayo na higugma o ng person nga maayo mangod siya na ako. What if daghan siya bati nga gibuhat sa imo and then imo siyang lifetime partner? Imo siyang husband or imo siyang wife? Now you will be rewarded. And that's it's biblical. Kanang timplahan ni mo siya kape pero walay hilo, amen. Kape yun yung lamit. Pero gaugut kay kasaya. Ingon ang Matthew no, wala lang nako na na note dere. But ingon ang Matthew, do that to your enemy. And so many times, ang pinaka may enemy nato is ang person na pinaka love nato. And when we grow mature in the Lord. When we like understand that God, I would know you more. I would know you better, deeper kung kinsa ka while waiting. Um, I remember my husband would always tell me ba na um, sa, sa 11 years, anniversary man na mo karong August. No, mo nang i-example na ko siya. Ingon siya, mas kindi na to anniversary. Example mga pong kunin mo. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, so anniversary na mo karong August, eleventh year, eleven, twelve. Limot na ko eleven diay. No, so eleventh year and sa eleven years na mo sa marriage, it's so hard to wait, to wait upon the Lord. Kana bitang Lord, maing ani on tama mong marriage, oye? No, sana all. Kana nakai nakai gusto abdan sa mong marriage ba? Pero Lord, wala pa mong gud midiha, layo pa mong kaino sa tinuod. Nya kanang muhulat bitaw ka, lisod ka ayo. No kanang uh, unta like like for example ako kay pastor man ko. Isa gyud sa akong gipangayo ni Lord kanang kanang bitong magdevotional mi sa akong bana, nga kanang mag magdiscuss me about the word. We tried it once, twice, thrice and it did not work. Maglalis mi sa Bible. Magdebate ming duha. Adi man good, ah may lang kamustorya ana pero imong kinaiya. Alak ka, huwag di yun yung work na ito ni mag-devotional tang duha. So meaning, na ang may mga inner issues and tanan nga minyo makasabot ana na murag wala na deal with na kung magbasa may Bible together, gamitin ito na mga verses para ibato to one another. And it's not working. Na pagkanindot good nga as husband and wife, like pastor mang yun ko, pagkanindot good nga mag-devotional mo together, mag-share mo sa word, It's not working for us. And I am still waiting on the Lord for that to happen. Still, I am waiting. Um, with me and my husband, we don't have that much time together because nasa sa barco. Siguro because of that, like a year nasa sa barco. Sa Philippines, nasa for three months. 
As much as I wanted na kanang three months or six months na naa siya, we could do that, like do devotional together. It's not working for us. And we're like, the more na ko i-insist, kay ideal biya siya. Amen? Ideal siya. Uy, na ba nag-asawa, mag-devotional mo, mag-ampo mo together. Ideal kay siya. When when we were boyfriend, girlfriend, ginabuhat na mo na before. But when we got married, lisod naman kay buhaton. Gamit na naman na mo ang word against each other. And it's not working. Hantod, di na mi kaampo. Kaya galain na akong dughan. Galain na po niyang dughan. Wala, di na mi magpray. Imbis gasturya rami word of God na husband, submit to your wife. Ah, di, di ay. Wife, submit to your husband. Example, ang mga pong pilion nga mga verses, kanag yung pang marriage. Mag-away naman mi, maglalis naman mi. Amen? So it's not working for us. And God definitely uh, is doing individual sa Amoa. We do individual devotional. So what we do when he's here, I would say, di man siya anad mag-devotional before, so ako yun ang mag-initiate. So if we cannot do devotional together, we do devotional together apart. Okay? Pariha og oras, but lain-lain mi, na actually dari nga apart sa lamesa, na atbang mi, or lahi nga apart sa bed. Basta kay nag-devotional mi. I would always say that, mag-devotional na nata. And then, lain-lain mi, i-devotional, lain-lain mi og time together, and uh, ideally, pagkanindot kundungan, but it's not working for us. If it's working for your marriage, wow, hallelujah, praise the Lord. You are there already. But we wait on that, no? waiting on the Lord. Like my children uh, would do devotional together. Lain-lain ang silag Bible because lain-lain silag edad. I bought Bibles according to their age. Kanang dili boring ang Bible for them. I would, I would want my children to love the word. And for me to do that as a mom is to buy a Bible that suits to their age. So David has a different Bible. Gab has a different Bible and also Shane. I, I'm not giving them the Bible that I have. Na puro words. And biblical, mura siyag, anak yun ka ng Bible na naanato. Di na siya mo work sa children. They would hate the Bible. Di sila ganahan. But also, nag-order ko karon og ka ng manga. No, dili manga nga nasa silong ha manga manga bible and it's amazing it's expensive but the word is always worth it i would say the word is always worth it it's a manga bible uh, that works for Shane and for Gab no manga is a is a certain kind of drawing na mura siya cartoon type pero manga ang name and many of you no sa mga bata noon kabalug unsay manga Okay, so manga, there's a Bible that, that has a uh, manga nga Bible, and it worked for them. They're just reading the Bible like, wow, and, and uh, short nga mga, mga conversations sa mga characters sa Bible, the nice kig mga drawing. And uh, because my kids also are, are si Shane, kabalo mo draw, uh, iyang gina, gina practice kung unsa iyang nakita sa manga. Knowing God really is very important and if wala pa ka nag-effort karon para ilhon ang Dios, igsuon do it. Do it. Ayaw bitaw nang Lord, gikapuyin man ko gulat. Adi na lang ko muhulat. Mag-effort ta. While waiting on the promise of God, do something. Pag imong anak di siya ganahan sa Bible, find ways nga naay Bible na maganahan siya. Igsuon ayog sugot, di ka ganahan Bible di dili. It's like we're quitting. We are not quitters here. We are people who waits. No, there's a difference. Dako kay difference sa tao na, sige, bahala na lang, o sa tao na mo work on to. So, Pastor, katulgon man siya ko kung magbasa ko Bible good. Di, paminaw o Bible. Well, namilo ka, kaya daghan mga kalpilo nun. Paminaw o Bible, well, nang laba ka, use your speaker, use your nindot ka, yung nga mga gamit nila, nga, magbuto-buto ra na, mutingog ra na, o lahi nga music, use it. Pag Bluetooth, pag Bible, there's ways, so many, just for you to eat, feed your soul with the Word of God. Do not give up. It's like, do something about it. Ayog sugot igsoon na, na while you wait sa tubag sa mga mga pag-ampo, mura kag wala nag-wait. Mura kag nag-give up na ba? Kaya ang tao nga manggod nga nag-wait, kay kuan siya kanang naa siya naa siya mga actions nga gibuhat while nagwait no dili siya magwait nga okay lang kung naa maayo kung wala okay ra pod no it's not like that no waiting a proactive siya nga waiting 
Dili siya waiting a lazy waiting. Matulog lang sa koy while nag-wait. Amen? For example, you cannot, uh, for many of us here, nga online, nag And feeling ni mo, morag, dili pa kaganan mo skwela because online. What if online na yun ang klase? Dili na mag-face-to-face, dili na lang ka mo skwela? Amen. So, while, nags- while waiting na mag-enrollment, you study ahead. Kinsa ni nag-study ka ron, babe, may tras wala pa nagsugod ang klase? Ay, pastora, wala, good. <laughs> Social media, ragyug ko. See, if you have a plan to be this and that in the coming year, Because na kay plano, na kay ipangayo ni Lord. Lord, I wanted this kind of grade for kaning a year. Or Lord, I wanted to be a DL karon nga year. Or Lord, I wanted to pass the board. Mitras wala pa ng review tungod sa panghitabo sa pandemic, gatoo na ka karon pa lang. That's waiting nga proactive. Many of us mag-wait na, wala lang, matulog lang sa ako, mag-Netflix lang sa ako, mag-social media lang sa ako, wala pa man ko ni skwela. Unsa may pinaka weakness nimo? Let us say math. Nagstudy ba kag math karon tungod kay weakness na nimo? And the answer for many who doesn't love math would say no. Sometimes nangayo ta ni Lord about something. Pero sa tinud anay wala ta ni hulat sa answer ni Lord. Because wala man tay gibuhat towards that. Number four. Waiting allows God to show us who we were and what we are capable of. Waiting allows God to show us who we were and what we are capable of. Now, a lot of times that um, sa panahon nyo maghulat ka, diha ni mo makitan kinsa ka before. Like for example, Kung makaingon ka kung ako ni before, wa na, nasuko na kog maayo. Before. Pero tungod kay giusab ka sa Dios, karon makashut up na ka. Well waiting, for example, daghang kag gipangayo ni Lord sa imo ang health. Naa kag gipangayo ni Lord sa imong marriage, naa kag gipangayo sa imong mga anak, sa imong business. Makita ni mo imong self kung ako ni before, wala na, nangaway na ko. Kung ako ni before, wala na. Ingaanin na akong gibuat. But praise God. Giusap yun ni Lord akong character. That today, maskin bati ang nahitabo, I can still praise the Lord. See, you will be able to assess kinsa ka before and kinsa ka karon. You will be able to understand. You will be able to understand ba na karon nga naghulat ka about something because we always wait about something. No, dili yung tamuhunong magyaghulat. Sa dihang mahitabo na po ang imong gihulat, you also wait na po for another thing to happen. Instead of kung wala pa gitubag imong pag-ampo, no, ikaw sa una would like succumbed into regret and frustration and self-pity. Karon makita ni mo na while waiting about sa imong giampo, you're joyful. You have peace. You can smile. You can you can you can sleep at night. Kanang niabot ka sa point, no? Kung kinsa ka karon, for example, na ang tibuok ni mong pagsalig na ana sa Dios who is on the throne and in control. A lot of times, mang God, while waiting, no? Sa isa ka person na controlling. While naghulat siya, gusto siya in control siya sa tanan. Like kung ma-frustrate siya about something, magka-anxiety na siya, di na siya okay. No? So kung ma-frustrate siya about this and that, mura na siya mataranta. No, ano man eh. Meaning, Ana, you wanted to be in control. The good news is that the will of God is for you and me to be not in control. But rather, for us to be in full surrender of who He is. His plans, His will, His direction. Muna siya pinakalisod sa waiting. Kaya ang gusto sa Diyos, dili ikaw ang boss sa imong own life. But siya ang boss and ikaw iya ang sulugoon in your own life. That's the very meaning 
When you prayed, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. When you open your mouth and say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, actually what you're trying to say is that, Lord, this life is not mine anymore. This is yours. You're my Lord. You are like making that decision nga ginoo, you run my life. Gikapoy na ko nga ako'y magbuot sa akong kinabuhi. Lord, akong gusto nga matunan ako na ikaw akong Lord. Meaning, siya ang masunod sa imong kinabuhi. Iyang kabubuton, iyang direction, iyang will. Not yours, not mine. And it's hard. That's why kung sa atong Christian walk, sometimes masakitan ta. A lot of times sa waiting, ma-frustrated ta. Mag-fail ta. Why is that so? Because so many times we wanted to be on the throne of our lives. We wanted to be in control of the lives of our children. We, most of us, would wanted really to be in control of everything. And so why would God allow things to happen in our lives so that we will surrender to Him? Kanak bitang, Lord, just do what you want to do. If you want to break me, break me, God. If you want to burn me, burn me, Lord. Like our song kaganina. Burn me, Lord. Tanan nga impurity sa ako, burn me. And when you say that, watch out for the fire to come. It's gonna be hard. But it's worth it. Because after you go through the fire, you will be purified. You will be the person that God wants you to be. You will be the man and woman that he intended you to be. The waiting definitely is hard. But my challenge for each one of you is to understand na sa diha deng naghulat ka, it allows you to see kinsa ka before and unsa ka karon and unsay kaya ni mo buhaton. What you're capable of. Kana bitang Tungod kay naghulat ka, makita ni mo sa imong kagalingon, kaya man day nako mudamgo og dako. Kaya man day nako mudamgo nga dili rang selfish nga dream, house, a car. That's just self. Amen. Kaya man day nako mudamgo para sa mas daghan. You know, it's amazing how when you journey with God, Makita ni mo imong kaugalingon what you're capable of because you are in total surrender of what he is capable of. A lot of times when we see our own abilities, malimitahan ta igsoon because limitado man ang tao. Pero when we partner with the limitless God, ma-amaze ka asa kaniya dadon. Asa kaniya, unsa nga doors yung i-open for you, unsa nga doors yung i-close for you because it's not the best. God's timing is definitely perfect. And when we understand that, while waiting, mas mailhani mo imong kaugalingon. Mauday ni ako karon, o mao ni akong kaya buhaton. Many of us here, I believe, no, naka, makaingon ka nga hala, no, kung asa ko karon. Ten years ago, baliki gani ten years ago, pakaana yung ka, Lord, ikaw yun ni tanan ba? Kay kung ako lang, lisod kung asa ko karon Sa sa daghan nga battle nga imong giface, sa daghan nga heartaches nga imong giface, sa daghan nga, nga pain nga imong giface, and then today you're still standing up by faith, it's amazing. And still right now, you are waiting on God. And you're saying, God, I'm still believing for more. Dira sa imua. 